Let's go to the handout, uh, page 69. So page 69 on the handout. So this is the factoring. So if you look on your handout, so we cover this type of factoring. So we're going to cover the one with three terms. And this is called a trinomial square or the perfect squares. Okay. So let's go to the handout. So let's go and go to number one. So you got x squared plus 2x plus 1. So when you're doing a factoring, you have to go through the go to your checklist, right? So step one, common factor. So you check. Can you factor anything out? Can you factor uh, x? No, because there's no x. Can you factor out any numbers? No, right? So step one, cannot. So you go to step two. So you check for number of terms. Okay? If it's two terms, you do the, the conjugates. If you have three terms, you check for the perfect squares. And if you have more than three terms, it's called a grouping. We're going to do that later on. So right now, you see there are three terms. So let's check for squares. Okay, so this is a perfect square. Okay, good. This is a perfect square. Okay, so that's good. But you not you don't know if this is a perfect square or not, right? So what you do is get this formula. See it over here? See the form? Okay, so get that ready. Now you're going to check. Okay, so you, you need to know where this came from, right? In order, so you have to know this came from the square of these, right? So you need to have x, right? x squared will give you x squared. And this one came from... Okay, now this one over here is plus 1 because this one over here, see, 1 squared gives you 1, right? But you have to check, see if the, if the middle term match. If it does not match, then it's not, okay? So check, so 2 times 1 is 2 times x is 2x, so it checks. So that means it's good, so that means that's your answer. That's where it came from, okay? So you can use this to get that, use this to get that, and then you check, see if they match. If they match, then you answer the so you, you basically you're guessing, okay? So you're just guessing and then you check, see if it's correct. Okay, okay so let's go ahead and do, um, let's go to 13. So you got 100x squared plus 20x plus 1. Okay, so step one, common factor, check. Can you find out a number? No, because one is the lowest you can go, right? And can you, can you factor out variable? No, because there's no variable, right? Again, common factor means you have to be in each of the term. So step one, cannot. So you go to step two. Okay, so three terms, you check for perfect squares. So you have to check, make sure everything's all perfect, right? So this is 10 square, right? 100 is a 10 square, so it's good. So it's perfect square, and this is one square. So if, if the front and the back, if they are perfect square, then you want to guess. You want to guess, see if it works out, okay? So to get 100, you need to get 10, right? 10 squared give you 100. To get x squared, you need to have x, right? Because x squared will give you x squared. Now to get 1, all you need is 1, right? And then the middle, this will give you a sign. If it's positive, it will give you positive. If it's negative, it will give you negative, okay? So this will be positive. So again, all you're doing is just guessing right now. So you have to check see if your guess is correct. And the way to check is, check if the middle term match. So 2 times 1 is 2 times 10x will give you 20x match. Okay, good, so that's your answer, okay? Now, if it does not match, then you're gonna know that some of the problem does not match. That means it's not it. That means if it doesn't match, then you have to do your step four, okay? So again, if it's step two is no good, then you keep going down until you get to step four, and you're gonna learn how to do step four later on, okay? So right now, you're gonna do the step two, okay? Okay, so let's continue on. Let's go to number 29. Okay, number 29, you got 49t squared minus 56st minus uh, plus 16s squared, right? Okay, so step one, common factor. Look, check the number. Can you factor out any numbers? No, okay? You cannot factor a number between them, and you cannot factor out variable between them. Because you cannot, this one have no s, so you cannot do the s. This one doesn't have a t, so you cannot do t, okay? So you cannot. So you go to step two. Okay, so three times, check for perfect squares. So this, yeah, so this is seven square, so this is good. This is t square, so this is good. This is four square, so it's good. This is s square, so it's good. So the front and back are all squares. So that means you want to check, see if it's a perfect square. Okay, so let's check this out. So 49, you have to have seven, right? Seven square give you 49. To get the t square, you need to get t, right? t square give you t, uh, t square. Now over here, you're going to get minus, right? Because this always match the middle, right? And the 16, you need to get 4, right? 
because negative 4 squared will give you positive 16, right? And to get s squared, you need to have an s, right? So again, so, okay, so now all you do is just guessing right now. You use this to guess this, you use this to guess this, right? Now you have to check, see if the guess is correct. So first, let's check out the sign. Okay, negative, negative match. Okay, so now the number 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 7 is 56. Okay, good. Now the alphabet, you got S and T, S and T, so it's good. So that's your answer. Okay? So again, use this to get this. Use this to get this. And then you check, see if they, all, all the, the middle will match. Okay? And that's all you're going to do. Okay, now let's go to number 31. Okay, so you have a plus b squared plus 2 times a plus b plus 1. Okay, so again, go, don't, I know it gets a little bit messy, but don't, don't panic. You just apply the technique. Okay, so step one, common factor. Okay, you got a plus b, good. a plus b, good, but not a plus b, so cannot. Okay, and the number, you got 1, 2, and 1, so you cannot factor anything. So step one is, is, is no good. So you go to step two, okay? You got three terms. So three terms, you want to check for perfect square, right? Because this is a perfect square, and this is a perfect square, right? Okay, so now it gets a little bit complicated, right? But you see this over here? So is this, so this is a perfect square, so when you put it over here, you just put a plus b, right? right? Because this square will give you that. Okay, you can see that. So the parentheses square will give you the parentheses square, right? And over here to get one, you just plus one, right? See over here plus one. So again, parentheses square will give you the parentheses square. One square will give you one, right? So now you have to check, see if the middle term match. So the sign is good. Okay, the number two times one is two. Okay, then you got parentheses. So 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 that so so this is your kind of answer. But, but after that, you have to simplify these. So you have to simplify this, your answer would be a plus b plus 1 squared, okay? You have to get rid of the small parentheses inside, and that is your answer, okay? Now let's go to number 33. So you have a r minus s squared minus 2 times r minus s plus 1, okay? So step 1, common factor, cannot. Okay, because there's no parenthesis over here to factor out, and there's no number in here for you to factor out. So step one, common factor, no good. So you go to step two, special factors. Again, three terms, right? One, two, three. So three terms, you have to do the, so again, see the three terms? You have to do the perfect square, right? Okay, so let's do the perfect square. So again, if it's a little bit confusing, this is what you do. Use a different color, okay? So to get, to get a parenthesis square, then all you need, it, to have is the parentheses, right? Again, parentheses square will give you parentheses square, right? Okay, and to get one, you need to have one, right? And you have to you have to match the sign. Okay, you have to have a minus over here, right? Okay, because okay, so now you check, see if your guess is correct. So again, you multiply all this together. So two times negative one is negative two, and times parentheses you got parentheses. So you're all good. But now, because you got too many parentheses, so you need to simplify. So your final answer would be r minus s minus 1 squared. And that is your answer. Okay? Okay, so let's go and do some practice.